Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm doing this video to show you the consumer preview booting up on a SSD. That's the Windows 8 consumer preview that just came out yesterday. So, I have the stopwatch on my iPod Touch ready, and I'm going to boot up the system and show you how quickly it boots up on the consumer preview. So, here we go. Okay, so that was right when I pressed it. It's at five, six. We have the Dell thing. It usually takes a couple of seconds. Then the beta fish. And just get rid of that and we're at the password screen so to get there see I gotta stop it to get there it was about 32 seconds to get to there from initial startup from right after I pressed the power button so if, if you were to count the from when the actual startup uh, screen appeared uh, then it would probably be about 25 seconds from that point. So, that's how quickly it boots up then. So I'm going to enter my password here and just see how quickly it gets into the thing. It, it's going to be quick though. So, just... Yeah, see, we're here. So, that's all I have. And as you see, the animations are pretty smooth. So, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a review here as well, as well as the boot up. So, I've, I've sort of categorized my apps. Uh, if you go to, uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this from last time. Uh, you go to the corner here that has a little search icon. You just go to that and this bar comes up. And you have search, so you can search for if you have apps or games. Or in most of the apps now that were pre-installed, you can search as well. So you can share, so if you have like a picture or something you want to share on Facebook or any of the like photo sharing sites and stuff you can do that and then as you see we're at the start screen and devices though it just shows that <laughs> second screen I, I guess that would be if you have another monitor or I don't know maybe that could be a remote uh, remote server like on a different screen as well I don't know I haven't tried that so that's what that is when you go to devices so and then settings uh, it shows your internet volume and then I guess that would be for brightness if you're on a tablet and can use the brightness and notifications for like apps and stuff so kinda like how it is on phones or tablets now with like iOS and stuff you have notifications on Windows as well and then power so when you click power you get sleep shut down restart just like before except it seems like you have to go through a bit more if you're on the desktop to get to that to actually shut down or sleep or restart or whatever so that's a little bit of a nuisance right there if they can make that say quicker if they could put something like in the corner or something that would just be easier to navigate and then you have more PC settings so that opens up basically the control panel for Metro for the Metro UI so you have all these different options here users so that would be like you can you can have your Windows Live account on here and that's basically how you sign in to your to your desktop to your profile and then you can add users from there so it, it's kinda like how control panel was except it's a lot different uh, I mean you still have the basic settings but then there's a few others in here and some missing from the desktop version 
So, but you can always get to the desktop version, but it's a little bit more of a nuisance to actually get there. So, to do, do that, also you can just hit the Windows key to go back. So, like I hit the Windows key and I'm back. Or, if I go back to the uh, PC settings, I guess that's what they're calling it now for Metro. And then I just go at the top, click, whoops, click and then drag down and drop and it closes the app entirely. So when you press the Windows key or go back to the start screen, uh, the app is still open. So to close it you just go to the top, click and drag down and let go. Or if, if you're on a tablet you would use your finger for that. So everything, it's kind of similar on the desktop except you use your mouse to do everything rather than a finger. So then I did get a couple of extra games here. Not much. They, they were free. I think that's all that's on the store right now is free apps. So then, of course, I added all of these. And then I even added a shortcut to control panel because it was hard to navigate to it at first. So I was able to add these thumbnail shortcuts. So if we go to that, it goes to the desktop control panel. So... I mean, it's a little bit hard to work with at first, but once you get going, it's a lot more easier to navigate. Once you set up, like, basically, it set up shortcuts and even desktop shortcuts if you want, then it's a lot easier. So that's the, that's one way to do it. And then, of course, the start is gone, so there's no start here. So if you just move the mouse to the far corner, then you see there's a little thumbnail preview of the start screen. You just click there, and it brings up the start screen. So, so it's, it's still almost in the same place. It's just the actual icon is missing. You just have to go move the mouse just a little bit further to the corner, and then also you can get to the desktop, or you can just click desktop. <laughs> so they're kind of treating desktop as an app in itself as a way and Metro's like another app running sort of that's how it kind of seems because see you would see your apps down here or your running apps or at the top bottom whatever <laughs> then you just go to either the top or bottom of the right corner and it brings up the bar here I forgot what they call it then it shows the time as well so that's how it does that and you can even, if you click on your name, on your profile up here, you can change the picture, lock, or you can sign out. So, if you want to lock it, so say you're just going to leave it there and you have friends over or something, just go to lock, and then, easy as that, then you just slide up and enter your password. So... And then you're back in. So I think it's actually pretty easy, and I like the animations. I like how they're doing it. So you have the store here. I'm going to show you that really quick. And you see they have a little thing here, Spotlight. So they had a contest, I suppose, uh, for developers who design apps. And eight, eight of them got in here. And then you, you have your new releases, so all of the new apps... So right now there's not that many because, of course, the Consumer Preview and the Windows Store just opened, just came out. So, that's why. So then, just like that, you close it. And then you have uh, Bing Maps. I would really love to see Google Maps or Google Earth or something as an actual app on the Metro. It would just be kind of interesting to see that because I'm not really a big fan of Bing Maps. I just don't like the interface as much. The colors, they're not as as bright and as nice as uh, Google Earth so or Google Maps. And then you have Internet Explorer. So this actually opens the desktop version. I don't know how to get to the to the um, Metro version cuz I don't I don't have it up here. I don't know. If, if you do that, but whatever. <laughs> I, I'm not, and I'm still getting used to Metro, so. Then Xbox Live Games, I guess that just shows your games. I haven't really tried the app. 
it shows your Xbox, if you have an Xbox 360 or something, then I heard about this app, but it, I haven't used it. The Xbox Companion app, which allows you to, I guess, somehow view your profile, your Xbox Live profile, and customize your avatar. And so then you have a video app, which basically, when I click on it, it just shows... Uh, I think you can, there's like a marketplace that you can buy movies or, you know, shows or something. And then it shows your files on the, on the, your computer as well. So, that's that. Then you have your music, which it would show your music that you have on here. So let me... And then there's a marketplace as well. So it's like Zune on the um, Xbox 360, but it's it's just a regular music and video app. There's no Zune title to it. I think they abandoned that, Microsoft. They, and then a camera app. So that would be if you have, I guess it, I don't know if it would work if you had a webcam, but uh, if you had a tablet, then you click on that. But when I clicked on it, it just went to a black screen. So it, that's all it does. And then readers, so like Adobe Reader, you no longer need that uh, on your PC. You can just uh, you can just open a PDF file in this reader, and you can view it. But I still have Adobe Reader. I haven't really tried out the app either. And then messaging, so I guess like Facebook and stuff like that. You have a weather app, so it gives a detailed forecast hourly forecast so shows you that then it came with these two like sort of it came with solitaire and this pinball game basically what most windows comes with as a few games you know a little bit of stuff in there uh, and then cut the rope you just get for free on the store. That's probably the only real, like, sort of app like game. The other ones I have Biologic Piano, Biological Piano, and this uh, Flipsaw app that I haven't even used. I downloaded it. <laughs> then you have, like, Stocks, Finance app that I probably would never really use because I don't really care about stocks, invest in that and stuff. Uh, then Mail, which currently only works with, I think, uh, Microsoft uh, Live Mail. I'm not sure though. Maybe it works with other ones, but I I tried it and it doesn't seem to work with uh, Yahoo. It doesn't seem to support that. Then you have Photos, so that would be all your photos on your PC. There's a photo of me, <laughs> Facebook photos. So you can actually have your Facebook account synced with this, and so you can view all of your Facebook photos, and then as well as the photos on your PC. So, and then you can upload your photos to what this thing is, uh, SkyDrive. So that's like the cloud for Microsoft's version of the cloud, where you upload it to their servers. You can upload files and stuff. I haven't used that yet. I don't know if I'm going to. Maybe in the future, but... And then Flickr. So if you have a Flickr account with uh, photos, but I don't. So, and then... What is kind of a annoying is this app preview tab that they have here. I don't really see a point of it. I wish they just... I mean, I know it's a preview. I know it's not the full final version, but I wish there was a way you could disable it because it's just a little bit annoying being up there. That's all. Whoops. So you have to hold it. If you let it go before you drag it down, it'll pop back in. And then... Uh, that's about it, actually. And then you see Remote Desktop and SkyDrive, which is the cloud. And I suppose Remote Desktop, you can just have uh, remotely access your computer. Or if you want to connect to another system that I think would have to have Windows 8 on it, Consumer Preview on it as well, I guess you could do that. So that's about it, really, in this video. I haven't really tried a lot of my PC games that I have, and I don't know why my icons aren't showing up. Because I do have uh, fences, the Stardock fences on here. So there's probably a glitch in that. I I'm sure I'll get it working or something. But anyway, for now, that's all I have to show you for the consumer preview. If any bugs or glitches come up, I will probably make a video of that too. 
and I did do this, uh, I did do an installation over Windows. I know it's not really the safest thing to do, but I decided to go ahead and do it anyway. So, because, you know, I don't want to have to deal with two, you know, dual booting. I'm not really a big fan of dual booting. I'd rather just have one operating system on there, fast and simple, you know, even though it's the beta, but, hey, I like try th trying things. So, but if anything comes up, I will make some videos. So, that's it.